Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about my skincare products. Um, now, if you look through my videos, I don't have a lot of skincare videos, and that's mainly because I like use the same products over and over again, and I don't like experiment with lots of new skincare. You know, which is why I don't do a lot of skincare videos, and it doesn't make sense for me to you know. I talk about the same products over and over again but it had been a long time it um the last skincare like a proper skincare video that i posted was a year back um some of the products that i've mentioned in that video you're gonna see the exact same products a few of those in this video as well um because that's how basic i am when it comes to skincare if you are here and if you're thinking that this is going to be a very elaborate and like a very detailed skincare video that includes a lot of products then this video is not for you because it's very 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 basic but i do have a few new um skincare that i've been using for like the past couple of months and i thought uh let's do a skincare video and let's let's take a break from all of the beauty makeup videos that i've been posting and i hope this helps also before we proceed i want to I'll talk about my skin type so my skin type is extremely extremely dry it's like sahara desert dry and in right now in winters it's even more dry like you, you cannot tell on camera you cannot see on camera but i have a lot of dry patches like flakiness in my skin right now and yeah so my skin is very very dry um so if you have dry skin i hope this video helps you um now without any further ado let's jump into the video i have uh, a mix of both affordable and a little bit of expensive skincare um because again i as i said like i just stick to these products all the time so uh, let's go in order of how i apply my skincare so it's very very basic uh let's start with uh, cleansers and face washes so the so i have two of them right here i'm going to talk um about it one by one so the first is the derma weave uh, hydra cleanser this is the derma weave hydra cleanser sensitive skin conditions so i have shown this um before and it's been like around three to four months i've been using uh this cleanser and it's so good like I, this one is a very mild and very gentle cleanser it is expensive uh, this was uh the brand sent uh sent this to me so very kindly um but i really really like this um this is i don't know the price but it's for around seven to eight hundred rupees but and i use it very very sparingly if you have sensitive and dry skin you're gonna love this in fact if you have any type of uh, skin this is for all skin types it's a very very gentle cleanser so it's like a cleanser or uh, like a morning cleanser you know just to cleanse your skin uh, which is not very harsh on your skin but you cannot use this to remove your makeup so i have another uh, cleanser that i use um, after i remove my makeup but yeah this is like a morning type of cleanser very gentle on your skin and it does not strip off the moisture from your skin and it does not make your skin feeling dry so yeah this is the first cleanser that i use then i have another like a daily uh, face wash kind of a product this is the mdfine uh, naked and raw coffee face wash um they say it's for normal to oily skin but it works for my dry skin like really well um so this is like a gel based cleanser it has beautiful fragrance it has it has if you love coffee you're gonna like love this so much again like a very everyday kind of a face wash um but even though it's very um like an everyday cleanser it makes sure it makes sure that uh, my skin is like squeaky clean and nice that's how i like my cleansers to be and this ensures that even though uh derma weave a cleanser though it's very very mild on your gentle on your skin it makes sure that your face is like really really squeaky clean so yeah this is the second face wash if you have oily skin then again this is going to be a really nice cleanser for you all right i want i want to mention two more face washes that i use so the first one the classic himalaya neem face wash i think i've used that since i was in school so it's been like so it's been so long i've been using that but i don't uh, use that right now because as you saw i have a lot of cleansers to use but that is a really one really nice and affordable one um that is really really affordable and it does the job on uh, the second cleanser that i want to mention is my favorite out of everything that i've used um it's the face shop um rice water bright cleanser oh my god if there's one cleanser i've repurchased 
and repurchase over and again it would be this one it's so so good beautiful for dry skin uh, it has like a cream so unlike all of these cleansers that i mentioned this one has a cream consistency so it will not dry your skin makes your skin like squeaky like really really squeaky clean so that is the cleanser i like to use um when i have makeup on so i use like a micellar water to get rid of my makeup and after that um like double cleansing for double cleansing i use that face wash and oh my god it gets rid of every makeup every like everything that's on your face it smells amazing the texture is amazing and um it just does like wonders to my skin you know especially for my dry skin so it's a little bit expensive uh it's around five to six hundred i don't remember the exact prices but uh it is worth it it's worth every penny if there's one thing that um you will not regret investing in is this face wash definitely and yeah that is all about the face washes if there's one skincare product i've used the least is serums but i do have one serum with me that i use like not every day um so even if i use a excuse me so even if i use a serum it won't be every day it'll be every alternate day or every two days i have this a uh, serum which is by auric beauty um, and this is like a brightening serum but i really really like this the consistency of this you have to see the consistency of this it's so beautiful now why why i like this it is because it is a brightening serum it really like gives me like a glow like a very wet looking skin that look that looks very very glow glowy and juicy so i like this because it makes my skin look juicy um so yeah this is that is the reason why i use this and it has a very beautiful um texture so yeah this is the one serum that i use and also i also i even use the face shop white seed serum that's amazing the consistency of that in this is like pretty similar it's like a very a um, milky sort of a consistency um talking about active uh, ingredient active based serums uh, there is one serum that i have used and that is the vitamin that's the only vitamin c serum um this is the only active ingredient serum that i've used um which is by coco chemistry and i really, really like it but it does give a nice glow to the skin uh, when you use a vitamin c serum you have to use a sunscreen on top of it um yeah that is something that i wanted to share and yeah that i think that is um all about the serum talking about the one skin care product that i love a uh, moisturizers i think they are like savior for my skin and i uh try different moisturizers i like to try different moisturizers so i have quite a few with me um these are the ones that i have and i have more back at my place um yeah so let's talk about moisturizers in quantity moisturizers are something that i have the most and I, tr and I like like buying and trying new products but i still stick to my basics um so the first uh moisturizer that i'm going to talk about is the nutriderm vitamin e vitamin e moisturizing lotion i don't use this on a daily i use this before i use before i put on makeup because this works up as a beautiful base on top of makeup so this is what i like to use that for which is why i have um, and i use and use and you need like very very tiny amount this these products is something that you need very little you know less is more so even if with the tiniest amount tiniest amount it's gonna do the job so i wanted to mention this then um the one skincare product that i think i'm about to like finish is the i'm gonna show you actually is the is it as you can see i'm like almost over it um this is something that i'm pleasantly surprised i didn't think when i initially got it i didn't think like i would like this but this is the uh, mother sparsh turmeric healing day cream um now the consistency of this is so beautiful i don't know how to explain it but it is like a in between like a gel and like a cream product and works beautiful for my skin uh, i just um i like to use this during the night specifically um when i'm done removing my makeup and i'm done with my cleanser i go ahead and apply scoop like a generous amount and i apply it all over my face and oh my god your skin is gonna glow okay i love glowy like skincare products also so which is why i love this it's so so beautiful and it's not very expensive this one is for four around 400 rupees it just gives so much hydration and glow to the skin um yeah and this is a product that like took me by surprise and i really love it like a basic moisturizer that i use every day in the morning so i use the pons light 
moisturizer gel uh, so it comes in two variants i have used both and i like the gel one a little more the reason why i'm not using that is because that is great for summers it's like so good for summers but in the winters i like to stick to these moisturizers i am already over like one tub of the pons light gel moisturizer it's so good so good so affordable some sunscreen so uh i think the only 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 sunscreens i've ever used are these two so the first one uh, that i have is the neutrogena one and then i have the minimalist one so these are the only two sunscreens i ever use and i'm so out of this but i just like sh saved this for this video um this is a beautiful sunscreen um uh, very affordable i think it's for around 200 rupees I have used a few sunscreens before in the past but I didn't really like it because it had that weird white cast. These do not give a white cast to your skin. Um this is beautiful for dry skin. If you have dry skin this gives a very dewy finish, you know. So this is and it's very very lightweight. So yeah, this is done. And then I wanted to try so after I I was done with this, I wanted to try like a new sunscreen. And so I got the minimalist sunscreen. Um I have been loving this a lot. a lot um it is a minimalist um multi vitamin spf 50 sunscreen this sunscreen is so beautiful uh, the texture of this again so nice um this is a little bit on uh, this is not dewy this is not matte it's in between so it works for my skin um so i think this works for all skin types and the packaging is like my favorite part um so yeah these are the two sunscreens that i use let's talk about um scrubs again the i've used I've used two scrubs in my life and the first one has to be the Encofin one I've used that like for so long so long that now I'm out of it and um it's the it's a beautiful beautiful um scrub great for all skin types uh, the other uh, scrub that I use is the Saint Eve's uh, apricot scrub I have to say I like this one a little bit more than the Encofin one um because this the particles thus uh, exfoliating up uh, beads in this are very very tiny it's a little bit tiny than the encofin one the encofin one has a little bit large particles you know so it can be a little bit harsh but you need to be very very careful and i think these are the two scrubs that i've used and they work for me and i use this like once a week max once or once in two weeks max so yeah chalo so so in the morning i use a cleanser i use uh, my moisturizer and sunscreen and that is it that is it for my skin care routine let's talk about something that i use during the night so okay let's talk about makeup or remover since we are talking i wasn't sure if i want to mention uh, my what i use um to remove my makeup but since we are talking about skin care and we will we'll be talking about night time skin care we have to talk about <laughs> makeup removers um so the only makeup removers i used are the garnier micellar waters um i am over one bottle as you can see this one is also almost over i have a backup of backup already you know it's affordable it does the job and yes which is why i stick to these um i have i also use a pink variant so i use that when i have like a very light everyday sort of makeup like which is not waterproof um which is and i have mascara that is not waterproof i will go ahead and use that i have even i uh, use the simple micellar water that is also like bomb that i feel does not like remove my waterproof mascara and lipstick mascara properly so it gets rid of everything everything so which is why i love this uh now recently i've been trying this new um product which is by plum um this is like a trial um size um this is the plum e luminance supple simply supple cleansing balm i have never used cleansing oil as a balm in my life and this is my first time and um you get around um i don't know this is for 99 rupees and i don't know, i can't see find the quantity of this um yeah so it's for 10 it's 10 grams for 99 rupees <clears throat> before you try invest in a full size i thought of trying this and i've been currently really liking this um you just have to take um you don't need any like removing pads or cotton pads anything you just take a little bit on your palm rub it in your fingers and then you know just it just melts away all of the makeup and this does a pretty good job at remo removing my makeup so yeah i wanted to like give a mention to this as well i want to give a shout out to this uh, it is one product that has saved my winters saved my winters saved my skin during winters um it's i have saved my dry skin during winters and this 
is the plum grape seed and sea buckthorn glow restore face oil blends that's a long name but this is the oil that i've used for years um i think i've been using this for around i don't know how many years but this is a savior from a dry skin it's like a oil it's like a face oil um I don't know if it if it's gonna work for oily skin. How I use this is since my skin has been feeling really really dry, like very dry. Um, I especially when I wash my face, my skin feels like it's like this moisture has been sucked out. Like I take like three to four drops of this and massage it um into my skin, and it moisturizes, it hydrates. And I look like a grease ball. Like I'm not gonna lie, I I'm, I look like a grease ball when I use this, but it's worth it. Um, which is why I use this only uh, before I go to bed, and then I use like a nice layer on my skin. I go to bed, and the next day, I wake up with beautiful, hydrated skin. So, which is why I would like to give a shout out to this product. I think it's beautiful. It works great for dry skin. I use this uh, sometimes to mix in with my foundation. It was a beautiful glow. Um, so yeah, this is the one product that I like enjoy using a lot. This is the last part of the video, and I have some lip balms with me. Um, I have used a lot. I have tried and used a lot of lip balms, but these are the ones that I'm currently using. The first one is the Nike Cereal Kisser Lip Balm, and this is in the variant Pina Colada. Now I really wanted to know what it is about, and this is how it looks like, uh, and I. <clears throat> and I will tell you, it smells so good. So it smells like pineapples and coconut mix, like a mixture of pineapples and coconuts. So amazing! And I will say that this is a little, and this is better than the Nivea one, like the Nivea original one. That is the one lip balm I've used for years and years, and now now I'm over it. Another beautiful product that I recently discovered: a Plum Candy Melts Vegan Lip Balm, and this is the Vegan Red Velvet Love. I'm going to show you the texture of this. Okay, I've used quite a lot, and and I use this every single day. Um, if you have really really chapped lips, this is the lip balm for you. Because I was having really chapped lips like from the, since the past few days, and I just apply a layer of this and go to sleep. And the next day, it's like magic, and I have the softest lips. I like my I prefer my lip balms to have this sort of a package in your way, just and you just apply it, just has it free. Like one, it's like magic in a dog. Um, if you haven't tried this lip balm, you need to try it. So so good, and it smells like red velvet, like legit, legit red velvet. And there are a lot of variants in this. So if you haven't tried this, if you're looking for a new lip balm, you have to try this. And yes, that is it for this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what are your skincare favorites and what. A new product should I try that is worth trying and I might give it a shot um thank you so much for watching it's a wrap for today um please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye